Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at our last sorting algorithm, which is merge sort. The problem statement remains the same. Given an array of integers, sort the array. Sorting can either be ascending or descending. For example, if you have an array of five integers, minus six, 20, eight, minus two and four, Passing the array into merge sort function should return the same array in ascending order. Let's now understand the idea behind merge sort. First, you divide the array into subarrays, each containing only one element. An array with one element is considered sorted. For step 2, you repeatedly merge the subarrays to produce new sorted subarrays until there is only one subarray remaining, which will be the sorted array. Let me help you visualize with an example. Consider the same array. Minus 6, 20, 8, minus 2, and 4. As I mentioned in the previous slide, merge sort is a two-part process. First, you divide the array until you're left with subarrays that contain only one element. And the logic for that is to split the array at the middle till you have an array of length 1. So the array would now be two arrays. Minus 6 and 20 in the first, 8, minus 2 and 4 in the second. Now check if the array length is 1. It is not, so we further divide the arrays. This time, minus 6 and 20 as two separate arrays. And for the right hand side, 8 is one array, minus 2 and 4 is another array. Remember, we split in the middle. Now we again check for arrays which have more than one element and divide those. So the rightmost array will now split into minus 2 and 4. At this point in time, we have every element in the original array contained in its own subarray. Step 1 is complete. For step 2, we merge the individual subarrays into new subarrays while ensuring the elements are sorted. Here is how it works. We take the two arrays and a temporary empty array to hold the elements as they are sorted. Let's start with minus 6 and 20. Minus 6 is the left array and 20 is the right array. We check that the arrays are not empty. We then compare the first element in each array and push the smaller element into the temp array. Here, minus 6 is less than 20, so we remove it from the left array and push it into the temp array. Next, we see that the left array is empty. So we simply push the element in the right array onto the temp array. When both the left and right arrays are empty, we have the sorted subarray. That would be minus 6 and 20. Let's repeat this process for 8 and minus 2 comma 4 to make sure we get this right. We have the left and right arrays. They are not empty, so we compare the first element in each array. Minus 2 is less than 8. Push it onto the temp array. Left and right arrays are still not empty. So we compare the first element in each array one more time. 4 is less than 8. So push 4 onto the temp array. Now the right array is empty. We simply push the left array onto the temp array. Both arrays are empty and we now have the sorted subarray. Let's repeat this process one more time for minus 6, 20 and minus 2, 4, 8. We have the left and right subarrays. Both are not empty. 
we compare the first element in each array. Minus 6 is less than minus 2. Push minus 6 onto the temp array. Left and right are still not empty. Compare the first element in each array. Minus 2 is less than 6, so push minus 2 onto the temp array. The arrays are still not empty. Compare once again. 4 is less than 20, so push 4 onto the temp array. We still have an element each, so let's compare one last time. 8 is less than 20, so push 8 onto the temp array. Now the right array is empty, so push the left array element onto the temp array. Both arrays are empty, and we have just one sub array left, which is the sorted array. Minus 6, minus 2, 4, 8, and 20. This is how merge sort algorithm works. Alright, if you have understood the algorithm, now is the time to pause and try implement the solution. If you would like to solve together, let's do so in the next video.